Section 9.1.9, .9, we want to compute the critical value that corresponds to a 92% level of confidence. So the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out, okay, we have alpha divided by 2. So we're looking for alpha. Okay, what does alpha equal? So in order to find alpha, we need to take 100% and then subtract the 92%. And so that gives us 8%. Now, if we write that as a decimal, that is 0 0.08. So what this means is, is that alpha now represents 0 0.08. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this alpha and then divide it by 2. So if we take 0 0.08 and divide that by 2, that gives us 0 0.04. So what that means is we want to find Z alpha divided by 2, which is now Z, which we saw was 0 0.08 divided by 2, which is Z of 0 0.04. Now, whenever you see this, this says that this is the area to the right of the critical value of Z. So let's just draw a picture so we can actually see what's happening here. Okay, so recall that we know that we have our normal distribution here. And what it says here is that the area to the right of this represents 0 0.04. And what we want to look at is whenever we get a z-score, if we want to know what that z-score is, we want the area to the left. In order to find that area to the left, we're going to take 1 and then subtract that 0 0.04. And so when we subtract that 0 0.04, we get 0 0.96. So that is the area that's to the left of that z-score. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our calculator and stack crunch to determine what is that critical value of z. So we're going to use INV norm and we're going to use the area that's to the left of that z-score of 0.96 and we know that our mean is 0 and our standard deviation is 1. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have second distribution. We're going to go to INV norm. We're going to put in the area to the left of 0.96. We know that the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. And so let's go ahead and copy that down here. And you can see that we get 1.75. Okay, and then how would we do this on StatCrunch? Well, using the normal calculator, we know that our mean is 0, our standard deviation is 1, and we want the value to be less than so we can figure out what that value is. So if we put in our area of 0 0.96, and then compute, you can see that we get the value of 1.75 here. So either using INV norm or stat crunch, and so therefore we can find that the critical value that corresponds to the 92% level of confidence is approximately 1. 75.